let's talk about what most people think about sin. Sin as in S-I-N. Hello my people, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am Christine Kamsimet Gambona. Some people call me CK, others call me CKT, whichever is easier for you guys. I am pleased and glad to have you here. And my goal through this channel is to break down Christian concepts to smaller workable tips so that anyone can apply them and enjoy the promises of God as he has promised them in the Bible. On this channel, I share most of the things that Christians don't have a chance to ask in, in an ordinary church service as the sermon is being preached. So if you are led to any topic that you would want us to discuss here, feel free to drop it in the comment section below here and we shall get our hands on it. Without wasting much of your time, let's drive in. Most people think that sin is the most thing that keeps them in bad terms with God or in good terms with God if they stay away from sin. So they do all that it takes in order to please God. But let me surprise you a bit. That is not what makes us right with God. What makes us right with God is accepting Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. That is why we have verses like, Blessed is a man whose sins are covered. And another one that says that we are saved by grace, not by works. Many people deal with sin as if it is ranked. So they consider some sins bigger than others to a point that some people feel that they are more right with God because they don't do this or that or have never done a certain sin so I'm okay. So they feel they are more qualified than those who have sinned in one way or another. Now, that is what is called self-righteousness. And God said that Self-righteousness in his eyes is like filthy rags, guys. That is found in Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. I, I will not uh, read it physically, but yeah, if you look for it, you will find it in this Bible. Sins range from actions to thoughts to even also doing anything without faith, guys, it is sin. To, can you imagine that anything you do without faith is sin? <laughs> that is in Romans. Uh, let me read this one. I'm going to read it in, um, this is New King James Version. It is in Romans. I hope Romans has not shifted yet. Uh, right here. Romans chapter 14, verse 23. 14, verse 23. It says, But he who doubts is condemned if he eats, because he does not eat from faith. For whatever is not from faith is sin. This is uh, New King James Version. But uh, there is, uh, I think NIV says, but whoever has doubts is condemned if they eat. Because their eating is not from faith. And everything that does not come from faith is sin. All right? So to us, Sin is inevitable because it is in our nature as human beings. Because we are born sinners from the fallen nature as the offsprings of Adam. But I will expound that topic in another video maybe called sinful nature. Some people think like if they do not steal or commit adultery or don't respect uh, their parents, or let's say they are fulfilling all the Ten Commandments as we know them, they think that they are out of sin. 
But if you read the Bible, you will find in addition to those Ten Commandments, there were other laws to be kept, like over 600 plus commands. No wonder the law was hard to fulfill and people continued sinning. God had to make for us another way to redeem us, which is through grace. Because works had completely failed. Because the more you want to do good, the more you find yourself off. Like Paul said in Romans 7, 15, that I really do not understand myself, for I want to do what is right, but I do not do it. Instead, I do what I hate. So the only way, guys, is to believe Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and trust him with all your weaknesses. He will help you one by one and you will just be good. You will even don't have a record of when what seemed a sin to you vanished. To add on this, guys, please watch my video showing right now on your screen that explains who is a sinner and who is a saint. And it will take you in details of how we qualify to be saints, guys. And another video of mine called Sinful Nature. What is sinful nature? Watch those and they will elevate you to another level of growth, of maturity, of understanding in the things of God. All right, guys, stay blessed. Like the videos share them and hit the notification bell do not forget to subscribe because if you do that youtube leaves such good content in the near searchables such that other new viewers can find them with ease and that way guys we are in it together preaching this amazing gospel to the ends of the earth i love each one of you and pray for you see you in my next video Peace out.